Hi all, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to have a go at painting this skipper butterfly that was uh, feeding on some knapweed in Derbyshire. Position of the knapweed flowers and the butterfly in the reference photo. So I decided that uh, I'd just trace around those with black ink using a fine tip brush from the inking range on a green background. Once that was done I decided to have a go at the bottom of the furthest away knapweed. Um, this has quite a texture to it. So I did a background in a light brown colour, light browny orange colour, with a Gensinki brush out of the inking range, and then using a what I call my lash brush, which is a row of very fine marks on a stamp brush that I made myself and I stamp that on in various colours and that gives me a very nice texture uh, for the bottom of the lamp weed, um, knapweed plant. It also gives me textures for other things uh, later in the painting. After doing the first um, knapweed bottom I copied and pasted that for the other two uh, and then started doing the actual purple part which is the top bit of the flower which is just some quick flicks with the Gensinki brush from the inking range uh, and then I trimmed the bottom because it, although I traced round the original uh, photograph it looked a little bit big and cumbersome to me so I took a, a little bit off it to make it a little bit more lifelike. Uh, and on the bottom one you can see now that I'm putting some detail in I'm actually putting some extra lines in with a fine inking brush fine tipped inking brush to give it a bit more detail because it's closer so it needs to have more detail than the one that is further away The next thing to do was to start putting in the three stalks and that's my I usually use the same method of putting a basic green colour in position with the Gensinki brush and then I put a dark green to the right on the darker side and a lighter green on the left side which is the lighter side and by doing that it becomes cylindrical. Then I set about doing the leaves or should I say the leaf. Um, this is a lot of leaves in this painting um, but believe it or not I just did one. Um, once I'd done one I copied and pasted it onto the stalks in various positions and the, all down the right hand side and I flipped the um, leaf over to put them down the left side and I also distorted some um, and warped them to give them a slightly different shape because if you make them all look exactly the same it sort of spoils the illusion um, and once they're all roughly in position I then painted over the places where the leaves meet the stalk so that it looks like they're actually growing out of the stalk um, not just placed on it once I'd got a couple of plants done I flattened the layers and that allowed me to then uh, copy and paste plants into the drawing behind all the knapweed so it quickly populated the painting. I then put some darker and lighter greens into the background layer so that it gave the whole thing uh, a little bit more texture. Right now that I'm happy with the three knapweed plants the next thing to do is get on with the tricky subject of the butterfly. Um, I always have faced the butterfly with a bit of trepidation but uh, once I get into it it's not too bad. As usual I put in a base colour um, and I use the Gensinki brush for that and then I use the textured brush out, uh, a grun out the grunge brush out of the textured range to put in some of the colours. The lines are done with the fine tip brush um, and basically it's just a matter of using various shades in this case orange and brown to build up the pattern that's on the butterfly, butterfly leaf and I find that the grunge brush does a very good job of uh, putting just the right amount of textured paint down. Um, once I've done the 
the one wing it was time to get on with the body and this is where the lash brush came in handy again the one I used earlier for doing the bottom of the napweed I used that to um, create a bristled texture on the actual um, bodywork of the butterfly and you can see now I'm using a bit of white here to uh, put some white bits into the butterfly's head and then I'll go down the back you might think well that's a bit of a funny colour um, to have a butterfly that's all white I mean it looks like it's been frosted but in actual fact I shall be going over that with a range of other colours I can see now to make it darker and um, when you're painting you need light to show up dark and the opposite side of that is true as well you need dark to show up light so always layering one colour on top of another um, builds up um, a nice set of layers in a painting and gives it some interest and makes it look more realistic well that's what I think anyhow you can see I'm just going to go on to the uh, other butterfly's wing in actual fact this is a skipper and it has a strange uh, wing formation it's as like its wings are double folded so it, there's two wings actually on each side of the butterfly right we're almost there now the thing to do now I, uh, is to flatten all the layers so that you can get at the whole painting in one go um, so that you can paint on any layer otherwise it will drive you mad um, at the top you can see that there's a couple of stalks that don't reach the top that happened during the copying and pasting regime um, so I have to finish those stalks off I don't want them looking as if they're going nowhere I've put a bit more texture in the background and a little bit lower down you'll see that there's a leaf that goes off to the left and it just sort of stops as if it's cut off um, well that doesn't look very good in a finished painting so I do that and then drop a few shadows in here and there and that's the job done I hope you enjoyed that and um, thank you very much for watching there'll be another one along shortly so please uh, hit the subscribe button and thank you very much